Alright, now we're going to be going through some diagnostics. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Broken bone? Yep, broken femur, correct. And this one? Hmm, internal bleeding. Okay, okay, what... Uh, what's this? That? That's a parasite. Classes in TF2 normally don't have to stick to one role. They either have weapons or unlocks that can change the way that they play or interact with enemies or teammates. Or they can just play a completely new way. Scout isn't really one of those classes. He has his role and he does it well. But let's step back for a moment. Using the tools Scout already has, what is the best way to change play styles without changing class? And that's where the Scout Nurse comes in. The Scout Nurse is a patented Not Sam G created subclass. This takes your normal job as Scout and completely fucks it out the window. Instead of being a medpack stealing little bitch you used to be, you're now the medics bitch. You're his right hand man. You stick to him like glue. Why you called the Nurse Scout instead of Doctor Scout? Two reasons. One, Scout mains are scrawny little cunts who don't deserve the title of Doctor or Love. And two, according to the first result I found on Google, colloquially referred to as the Scout Nurse, the circulating nurse is a non-sterile member of the team. They implement the nursing plan of care, supply the sterile team as needed, and document all the care the patient receives. Advocate for the patient and ensure a safe environment. Which is kind of what your job is as the nurse. And let me show you how. Before we go through what to do, first we need to go through the weaponry of choice, starting with the melee slot. Now at first I thought this was a no-brainer, the Boston Basher. You intentionally hurt yourself to build Uber, it's not a new tactic, it's been around for years. But then a friend brought up a weapon that I completely forgot existed, the candy cane. The candy cane drops a mini health pack on a kill with any weapon. This is perfect for healing your medic, but also your teammates. The reason I didn't go with this is you're kinda restricted to play behind the front line, as the small health pack dropped might go to the enemy team. So in the end I decided to choose the Boston Basher over the candy cane. The small health pack doesn't hold a candle to quicker uber build because the medic can easily just heal your teammates in about half a second to the same heal a small health pack would have got you. And if he isn't, he's kind of a shitty medic. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely have no idea what item to use for this slot. I mean, like, what item could you possibly use to help your teammates that Scare has in his secondary slot. I don't, I'm just... Yeah, so the Mad Milk is the obvious choice for a secondary. It's an extremely versatile bottle of milk. You can use it to track spies, extinguish your medic and your teammates as well. And most importantly, do some healing. You throw it over the front line to where a firefight's happening and you can watch your teammates get a bit of an upper hand. Honestly, looking through Scout's primary options, there's nothing that really makes a huge impact on this set. I was kinda thinking about the shortstop as it works better from mid-range, which is where you'll be most of the time, but once someone slightly gets up into you, or your medic's face, you're kinda fucked. And also, the scattergun can be alright at peppering, so you might as well just use a scattergun. There's nothing particularly interesting or useful about the scattergun, it's just kinda the best. Now that we know what weapons we're using, now you're going to learn what your job is. 
The first job you have is to be the medic's escort. I don't mean you're gonna sell your body out to the medic, what I mean is that you need to take him wherever he needs to be. See, when a medic heals a scout, he runs faster to keep up with the scout's speed. So by him healing you, you're getting him to the front lines quicker. And this leads us into our next job. While escorting a medic, whip out the Boston Basher and fucking beat your face in a couple of times. Medic healing damaged players helps them build uber quicker. Just make sure you don't overdo it. You can also do this if your medic isn't needed particularly badly at the moment or you need to make an uber push. This is fairly self explanatory, you're the medic's bodyguard. You make sure he's safe, you use your gun to get rid of any potential threats to your medic, but just make sure you don't stray too far. Try to stay the same distance a pyro stays to his NG. You can use the mad milk to track down and kill spies etc etc. But listen, just as a nurse doesn't just help their doctor, you shouldn't just help your medic. You can use your mad milk at the front line to give the people fighting a small bit more help and take some stress off your medic. You can also do a bit of chip damage to make people easier to kill. Obviously things aren't always going to go to play, you're the med's bodyguard so if you think it's time to retreat, go grab your medic and use your escort skills to bring him back to safety. And that is how you play the nurse scout. Now, am I 100% serious about this idea? No. Do I think it's going to catch on? Absolutely fucking not. It's such a big jump in what Scout is used to. Not only that, it requires the medic to trust the Scout, and in a pub, that's rare. So why did I make this video? I still think this style of play is useful if you see your team abandoning your med a lot, or even if he's just a newbie. And although I definitely don't expect to see the nurse Scout played in comp, even if some of you do this, it might give a better reputation to the Scout mains everywhere.